Hello, this is Diana with Artful Yours, and my blog website is artfulyours.net. And welcome to this um, video challenge, video art challenge. It was created by Gina Bronzini Arens. She has a Facebook group, an artist Facebook group. I'll link that down below. And it's a series of eight questions to answer. So question number one is, what is your favorite must-have mark-making tool? And for me, it's stencils. Oh, that's one of my favorite stencils right there. I love it. And I feel that stencils, and that particular stencil, or large stencils actually, can bring out, unify a work. Like that particular journal page was just not, was not working, but once I added unified it once I added the stencil design it unified the design here's another one of my very favorite stencils and I'm showing a page where I've used it on I love this stencil also. I use this often and it especially worked well for an underwater scene journal page that I did. And this one, I don't use um, that often, but I really like it. I, I probably would like to use it more often. And so question number two is, which thing can you not live without in your emergency slash travel bag, art bag? And that would be my iPad. Um, I do everything on my iPad and now here's an example of digital iPad painting. And I use the Procreate app, which is created only for iPad and iPhone. And I've been working with it several years, so I've, I've, gotten, pretty, I've gotten pretty good at it. So I'm just showing uh, the steps. I'm showing it as it comes to life. Step. It actually, the iPad auto records your iPad paintings. If you switch it on, it will auto record pretty fast speed and sometimes I have to slow it down. There's all kinds of digital brushes. There's a special digital brush that kind of is good for water. There's another one that's good for leaves. Then they have all types of pencils and paint brushes and pattern things, um, p digital brushes that create patterns. I also do, and here, this is all decked out. This would be my dream iPad for, for um, filming. But I film on my iPad, and here I'm, it's an example, I do my editing on my iPad. Oh, question number three. What is your favorite palette for skin tone? Um, I Here I'm just showing an example of palettes that you can do, because I really don't have a totally favorite palette. Four, what is your favorite will grab if the house is on fire um, art tool? And that would be my iPad again. Five, what art, what art supply product or tool in your stash would you recommend for a friend? Um, there's two that I have to say. These um, Diane Reevely's um, rubber stamp collection. There's three in particular that I like. I'm showing that, that one collection and I'll link it down below the name of that, of all three. They're very whimsical characters. This one again, they're just, I love them because they're just so whimsical. And here you can see how I use them in this journal page. But I'm sorry, I could not stick to just one thing that I would recommend. There's um, these rubber stamps that I would recommend to a friend. And I love that cat lady. And there's one other thing I w would definitely recommend to a friend, which is coming up in just a minute. And that would be 
Posca white markers, because white, really good white markers are so hard to find, and Posca markers is at best. Question number six, what is your favorite budget-friendly art supply? And that would be this $20 set of 30 paint brushes that came in this roll-up canvas bag on Amazon.com. $20 and it, all different kinds of brushes that you could ever want and it conveniently rolls up. So for $20, and if you don't really use your brushes a whole lot, it's really good. Number seven, if you could pick anything in the world to get for Christmas for your art stash, what would it be? It would be a home for my art stash, a beautiful art studio like this. I also would want this 25 color collection of the of the vivid ultra metallic paints. I love metallic paint. Question number eight, if you could spend two hours with anyone dead or alive to um, do art with, uh, there's so many I could pick, but this blind artist, is, he actually on YouTube, John Bramblett, he, he starts by using a computer thing that gives him 3D relief. He totally cannot see, totally blind. I, I can relate to him because I have a vision disability. Then he puts the 3D relief paints it on so he can touch. Then the colors he does in all different consistency so he knows what color he's working with just by the, the consistency of feeling it. There's a beautiful painting. He finished it right there and he's totally blind. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, or subscribe.